Welcome to Twist and Shout. I'm Shar, and today we're going to talk about a little bit about what I do or what I recommend for a winter, fall, colder weather regimen. So, if you're interested, keep watching, of course. If you would like to receive future content from me, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Tell a friend to tell a friend, natural hair community, talking about faith. My belief in God and Christ and Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Love, marriage, parity, and of course, natural hair. God bless. Okay, today, <laughs> I keep saying I'll be quick, but I'm going to try my best to sum this up. Um, it's winter time. It's cold, and we actually had a little bit of a snow yesterday. So, woo, yeah, nasty weather, nasty roads, blah, blah, blah. If you're from North Carolina, particularly in the Eastern Carolina era, you already know that snow is not the best time or best idea weather for us. Nonetheless, I'm going to make sure that I give you somewhat of an idea or a blueprint to take care of your hair in the once a time. And yes, please don't be, it doesn't matter. It does matter. Weather, temperature, humility, all that plays a part in your hair and your regimen to take care of your hair. So get into it. Me, normally I'm a lightweight, featherweight, type person in the summer months. Um, I like to use uh, liquid or spray leave-ins. I like to, however, during the winter months, the thing is because there's not much moisture or humility in the air to moisturize your hair or keep your hair moisturized, you have to do things a little bit different. With that being said, it means moisture, 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 because the air and the nature is not giving it to you. You have to continue to give it yourself. First things first, I like to use the organic coconut oil for my skin and my hair. It keeps it moist, it's very, I would consider this light, it's not heavy to me. You put in, it's a solid because it's cold, usually in the warmer months it gets a little liquidy and more easy to access, but kind of like, you know, a coconut butter, coconut cream or whatever your case, solid. And you just scoop it out and you put it in your hand and you can rub it on your face. I just put some on my face before starting this video. I put it in my hair. Um, it's organic. Got it from my local Walmart for $6 and some change. I also use it on my children. Very safe, very natural, very friendly. Okay, so butters. I use the main choice. Doesn't get much butter than this. And this has lasted me a long time. And a little goes a long way. This is very thick, very rich, and very creamy. And again, I use this as a daily hydration. Put it in my hand, rub it on my hair, and tuck it back in into this protective style. And the main thing about the winter months, you want to tuck your ends and keep them nice and hydrated. Because again, your ends are the oldest part of your hair, and they tend to dry out the quickest. Whereas if you notice, if you oil your scalp, which is important too, it holds it for at least a couple of days. Your ends, literally, you could be like, hey, I just put something on this, and it could be gone the very next day. This is why in the winter months, you want to go for thicker curling creams, thicker butters, thicker daily hydration oils and creams, whatever the case, because more is better in the winter months. Also, I co-wash within or between my regular wash, and... Contrary to belief, no washing your hair is not bad in the winter months. Doesn't mean that you need to cut back because when you use water and shampoos, they do have hydrating uh, chemical, I hate to say chemicals, I don't mean chemical, um, reaction in your hair to help your hair obtain or retain moisture during your wash day. It all depends on what type of shampoo or conditioner you use. Now me, for the winter months, I'm going with the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey line i have the shampoo and the conditioner again this is at the local walmart i believe they're 7.99 a piece a little goes a long way very moisturizing that's the whole purpose the manuka honey does that for you another butter i use is the jamaican i guess i should tropic owls living jamaican black castor or hair food though small this is mighty this is very thick and creamy and a little goes a long way. Again, I almost had this for almost a year. And this is between the use of me, my daughter, and my son. And I still have a lot. 
but of course i'm gonna really dig into this during the winter months because this is very hydrating and this lasts like i can put this on my hair today wake up the next day and check my hair and it'll still be moisturized okay what else i missed another shampoo african black soap where well, it's not shampoo it's soap but this can be used on your skin and your hair it's very hydrating it's very moisturizing and this was from like Target, no, from TJ Maxx or Marshalls. It was one of them, but very good stuff. Burlington, actually, I'm sorry. I believe this came from Burlington and it was only six bucks for 24 ounces. And this is a multi-purpose, all natural African black soap. Good for your hair, good at cleaning and moisturizing, yada, yada, yada. Now, again, going back to my hair, you want to keep your ends tucked, even if you're wearing sew ins, tracks, braids. You want to keep your scalp moisturized. And I do so with my own herbal oil in the applicator tube where I can really get in in, in between. Usually, um, in the winter months, I was a pro weave person. So, corn rolls back. I moisturize it the day before or the day of getting my sew in done. Then, a week by the week by the week I will go back in and moisturize your scalp please do not neglect your scalp just because you have a protective style whether it's weave or wigs keep your hair moisturized I would say having hair on top of your hair does keep warmth in however it is also more prone for more dirt more clogged pores so you want to make sure that you go in between open it up and really massage into your scalp speaking of massage the Vita Goods hair massager battery operated <sighs> feels so amazing this was online for 12 bucks you can still moisturize your scalp and really get your oil into your scalp in the winter months that does not change what else i have and i also use a regular spray bottle with oil in in it too if i want to direct it towards my ends i'll just spray it that way versus if i need to do it with my scalp because this can get pretty messy if you just pour it in your hands and work it that way which i really don't matter because usually i do that before i necessarily need to wash my hands or take a shower and this is a more easier applicator way just a spray bottle and also last but not least protective style and normally in the summer months i will go with a satin pillowcase because my hair does tend to sweat and it gets hot very easily However, this works fine for me in the winter months. I don't necessarily like this in the summer. Um, my hair gets hot and sometimes I just simply forget. And this again came from my local Walmart. I believe it's about five or six dollars. But whether you choose an actual bonnet or a silk scarf, because I have those two, protect, protect, protect. Even when going and transitioning in and out of stores, in and out of your job, if you have a bonnet or a cap, um, preferably satin linen to help protect your hair. That is very important because, again, the winter months can be very, very harsh, harsh. And you want to do all you can to prevent breakage, prevent dryness, prevent um, weak hair, and hair that's not properly hydrated. So, that's all I have for you guys. I hope I didn't miss anything. Went a little fast here. But, again, hydration, protecting, and keeping a steady regimen. Like, do not forget any of these steps. All of these steps matter at all costs. And even with the winter months, I also do tend to gravitate towards like blow drying instead of air drying. Um, so I won't get sick and getting in and out of cars and stores and things of that nature because your pores are wide open. And if they're wide open, the weather has more effect on them. So please, if you don't have to or if you need to take your day off to wash your hair and have your hair dry so that you won't go out into this weather and get sick. But like I said, me, I usually try to use heat. I am trying something slightly different. I am learning from other YouTubers. There is a heatless drying method and see how fast that works. So far, I believe because my hair is, um, tend to be on a high porosity side this time, I think it's causing me to hold the moisture in a little too much and too long and I'm not trying to get sick. So I may have to go back to blow drying. I don't know, but I will let you guys know. Thank you so much for watching.